So that needs to be passed back towards Ben. Pass this way, please. All right, then. Pass it is. Um, and it came to pass. 11.37 a.m. And the business meeting of WesterCon 67 will be in order. A quorum of 15 members is observed to be present. The only business submitted known to this meeting is the receipt of site selection results. The site selection administrator is not here, but we have received these numbers. 64 votes for Portland, Oregon. Two for Reno, Nevada. One for Spuzzum, British Columbia. Two no preference. And one blank uh, site selection name and information uh, piece of paper, which doesn't count as anything at all. That produces 69 total ballots, 67 having a preference, and 34 votes were therefore needed to elect. And that means that Portland, Oregon, having received a majority of those votes cast, is elected as the site of WesterCon 69. Yay! I call upon Leah Rush, the chairman of now WesterCon 69, who has some comments. How do you do? I probably don't have as many comments as perhaps is normal, but I, I want to express deep gratitude to WesterCon 67 for seating us. Most of the people, at least in this room, probably know that the bid was actually born in mid-December. So it has been an ungodly wild ride. So, thank you very much. Um, does anybody have any questions? Guests of honor. You might want Guess to of read honor. your oh. basic information yes. about your dates and your guests. Thank you. Okay, I have Argus progress reports here. Our writer guest of honor will be John Scalzi. Our fan guest of honor will be David Levine. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> we have a special guest that we're. It was quite a surprise, actually. Charlie Strauss. Hey, Charlie. And other guests to be named later. So it will take place at the Doubletree Portland in the heart of downtown Portland, on light rail directly to the airport and to the train station, east and west, respectively. Um, one interesting part is that we are pleased to announce that GearCon, which is our local steampunk convention, well, gathering, party, whatever it is, they actually take place over the 4th of July weekend traditionally, and the last few years it's been at the hotel, at the Doubletree. So I, I contacted them to let them know that they would need to start hotel selection, which is the sucky part of running a convention. And they came back and said, tell you what, how about this? So they will be a separate programming track as part of WesterCon 69. So we're, we're building a tradition with that. It would be three years running, <laughs> and you're you're folding in three conventions. Yeah. So no, PA. Thank you. Um, memberships will be for sale at the table, pretty much right after the business meeting. I have a couple more things I need to get out of the room for the table. If you both voted, <clears throat> if you supported as a friend of the bid, you're attending. If you did a pre basic pre-support and voted, you're attending. For, there is no conversion fee. If you either voted or pre-supported pre -supported basic membership, then it's a $20 conversion fee through the end of the year. If it's a new membership, $40 through the end of the year. New supporting membership, $30, $20 through the end of the year. So, Any questions? Days of the week? Is that a Friday through Monday? It is a Friday through Monday. Anyone else? Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Mr. Slady. How are the fireworks? 
they're fairly impressive. So we have the the Waterfront Blues Festival is also going on over the first to the fourth, which meant that the search for a hotel was actually more entertaining than it might normally be. Um, they're pretty spiffy. And again, our public transit is transit is amazing, and while it'll be crowded after the fireworks, it'll still be available, so you don't have to worry about getting a taxi, getting a car. Are visible from the hotel? That's the big from, question. Okay, from the 15th floor, from the landing there, you, there is a stunning view of the downtown city, and yes, you'll be able to see that right. from there. Right. Mr. Glazer, talk about, sir. Mr. Glazer? No. Um, are things like um, trans, mass transit and stores and stuff like that open on the floor? Yes. I was, I was honestly shocked to find out that mass transit was not available here on the 4th of July. So that was, uh, that was a surprise to us. Any other questions? Uh, uh, Mr. Falcher. I'm sorry, I'm caffeine deprived. Did you say what the hotel rate was? I didn't actually, thank you. Um, basic queen, single queens are $124. Double queens, king suites, and some True suites are $139 a month, a week, a day. Okay. I'm really sorry. I am. Did well, I mention this has only been going for six months? We, we did all this in six months. So sorry, I cried. Uh, and not enough. That's right. Okay. Anyway. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, and that will do it. Congratulations and good luck. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Is there Everything's else my fault. That's all I Is there anyone else wishing to submit business to the business meeting? With that, is there any objection to adjourning at this time? No, sir. Hearing none, at eleven forty five AM the business meeting of Western Con sixty seven is adjourned CNED. <laughs> is that a record? Is that a record?